So the big awaited press conference between AJ, Anthony Joshua and Dillian White has taken place. It's just not long finished. The press conference itself lasted for probably about 15 minutes or so. And it's the press conference for the fight which happens on the 12th of August 2023 at the O2 Arena in London. Just before the conference, I spoke to Eddie Hearn and Eddie was clear to say that Saudi Arabia did not want AJ to take this fight because they know that Dillian is a dangerous fighter. Dillian's got the ability to knock out anybody, especially that left hand. But he did go on to say if Dillian wants to win this fight, Dillian must be hungry. Not just hungry for money, but hungry to win the heavyweight championship of the world he says that maybe if any of them lose it could be the end of their career but he doesn't necessarily think that it defines Anthony Joshua's career neither do I because you know that Tyson Fury and Deontay Wilder will be waiting win lose or draw because Anthony Joshua is a cash cow Dillian arrived before Anthony Joshua, probably about 12 minutes, probably about, no, probably about 10 minutes before. And Eddie says that this fight is not going to go 12 rounds. And I've got to agree that the amount of animosity between these both players, that there's no way it will go 12 rounds. So I totally agree with that. Derek James wasn't there. And because Derek James wasn't there, we know what's going on there. Derek James is in the middle of training for Errol Spence Jr. And the tickets were all sold out today. I know that I got my tickets um, within that first 10 minutes or so today. But I believe that this is probably going to have been sold out within the first hour. I know that this says that this was one of the fastest ever selling tickets of all times. They came to Dillian White and they asked Dillian about what was going on and Dillian was quick to explain that, look, I've been waiting for a long time, but Matt's room was not interested. Where was Matt's room? They asked how he thinks he'll get on. He says that he's much more experienced than what he was before. They asked about AJ. He says, I don't care about AJ. AJ can do whatever he wants to do. He explained that he's calm and you could see that, yes, definitely, he's much calmer than what he was before. He's much, much calmer and he's focused of getting his victory. Dillian did go on to diss AJ and Eddie Hearn. He dissed both of them. I think he was trying to allude to, because I couldn't really pick up exactly where he was. He was trying to allude to that Eddie Hearn... I'd gone to see AJ but didn't really come to see him because he didn't want to sort out the fight because he didn't want to take that risky fight with AJ. That's what I've alluded to. Um, but he says all he wants to do is avenge his two losses against Tyson Fury and against Anthony Joshua, then retire. AJ, on the other hand, was very focused, very, very focused. And they asked him about Dillian White. Well, how do you think that Dillian will get on? And he just says, Dillian is just another body. I don't care. They says, okay, then so how about your rivalry? He says, there ain't no rivalry. There's no rivalry between me and Dillian White. Dillian White is just another body. So they went on to say, okay, then AJ, how do you think that the fight will go? AJ says, well, Put it this way, there's two ways to skin a cat. I'll either win by knockout or I'll win by points. I will tell you a bit closer to the fight. He wasn't being pulled one way or the other. This says, okay, then are you looking for, forward to the fight with Wilder or Fury? He says, I don't care about those guys. They're both liars. They're both liars. I don't care. And then AJ says something what I was really surprised about. He says, I could fight right now. But the thing is, Dillian didn't react. If this was an old school Dillian White, Dillian would have reacted and says, come on then, let's go for it. But he didn't react in any way, shape or form. AJ says, I've got a brilliant trainer now. He says, no, 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 I've got a brilliant trainer now, which to me explained that 
the other trainers what he had was yeah those okay that did the job but he's serious with the trainer that he's got now he's learned a lot he's going to be willing to put all things on the line put all the skills what he's learned into action on fight day he would not give a prediction but he says that he will give it just before the fight Guys, the press conference wasn't as hot as it could have been. It was nothing like 2015. But you know that both guys are more mature. Both guys are experienced. And both guys are ready for action. So guys, that's it really. It's the first part of many. Remember that the Daniel Dubois fight is also coming up for the heavyweight championship of the world. With Usyk, that press conference also happened today. And I will be giving. So please tune in to hear how that press conference went also. You've been listening to Mega Talk. Thank you.